It's interesting, when people ask me what do I do for a living and they find out that I'm at the anatomy laboratory, it's not all that often that people are repelled away from that. Uh, I assure them I wash my hands and that I'm clean, but they have a keen interest in knowing about the body and body parts. These cadavers come from donations of people who donated their whole bodies for medical education and research. We don't simply run them through one course. We have physicians who want to come by and practice a procedure. We have students from other courses that might want to see something that's done in a different course. And so we really use these precious donations throughout the year before they're returned. In a few weeks, we're going to start our medical school course again, and we'll have 128 medical students in this laboratory, and we will observe a whole minute of silence where people are free to express themselves silently in gratitude to uh, the bodies that they're standing next to at that time. It is neat to be my age and to see these young people coming in. They are bright, they are energetic, they have all sorts of world experiences. We get students here that have economy backgrounds, concert violinists or opera singers or people that were just out in business or people that were like me, biology majors in college. And they're exciting to work with because we see the intensity in their faces, we see their work product. Later we hear what they're going to be when they graduate from here, what kind of doctors and PAs they're going to become. And that is very fulfilling to me. It gets me excited. It makes me feel good about what I do.